Yo, what's up guys? We'll be playing some threes today with seven and gimmick. Should be some new games. Let's get into it. See if we get some dubs. See how it goes. Alright, for the first game we got ourselves Cryptide, Bleeth, and Modifying. See how this goes. I'm using different camera settings by a little bit. If you guys can probably notice, it's more stiff, a little bit closer. Just trying out different things here. Experimenting before worlds. It's a good little play. Nice first touch around one. It makes it hard on the last guy. See a play to make. Should have one touch here. That's fine. Nice and uh, safe touch across net here. There, obviously something that wasn't dangerous or risky at all. <laughs> love, love doing those. I wanted to like pass it back into a corner or hit it across for gimmick, but I ended up realizing it probably wasn't the best idea as soon as I did it, but didn't end up too terribly to be honest. Compared to what it could have been, could have just been a straight up own goal. Wasn't awful, we still kept possession, that was my main intention. Touch won't be great, just trying to read mine. We usually, I would say you usually win that engagement. like. Make a touch like that and they try to read you quick. Their touch after the fact won't be that perfect. So it's going to usually benefit you, I'd say. Someone tries to quickly read you like that. Shot from gimmick. I played around one here. I'm not going for a shot there. It's more just to keep it in. Play for the miss there. It's not a bad play to make. I could leave now. Let gimmick have that boost though. I'll take the further back one. Played around one. He doesn't have a free touch, but it's okay. Should be easy for gimmick. Soft touch to myself. I'm gonna fake a few times here. Let him hit it into me. Let him hit this away. I can go for a bump as well. Creates a good amount of pressure when we do that. Driving through it for a bump there. It's a good enough challenge. Again, just baiting that touch. Not gonna be the greatest, because I just drove up, showed presence. Nice, but behind gimmick here. Try to play it around one softly. Take a quick shot. Good read from gimmick. I have no boost here, just got that full boost, which helps a lot. Soft touch around one. Try to 50 middle. Take the mid boost. Try to stay on this left side here. It's pretty much all the space I'm supposed to be covering. Teammate should have a big hit. Nice. Oh. Almost on goal, but it's actually a really good situation still for us. We have so much pressure. Two of them are low boost here, so they're going to be playing for like panicky touches. So we have the advantage still by a lot here. So one over his head. It's going to be a bad touch because of that. He has to follow it up with a flick to my team. Gives us the ball still. He has one big hit. It's good. I'm just waiting here. Try to clean this up now. They can't get a good shot on this. I can just bait it. Doesn't really matter where it goes. Just to bait it over my myself to my team, hopefully. Try to keep it close. Go for a bump here. Actually, would be really good. Two bumps would be even better. Off the corner for gimmick. Fine. Save my boost now. If my teammate can win this ball, it's huge. If he just gets any kind of touch where he keeps possession next. It's actually really good. Bumped him off it. He can't double. He's gonna make a free 1v1. Usually very good in situation. Should be just a goal. Nice it then. Well played. Right off the wall to myself. Oh, I missed. That's fine. Soft to myself. Let him hit this off the wall. Won't do anything too much. And I can just win the 50 after. That's fake. Wait for the mid pass. If he wants to use me, I'll be here. I'm just going to pre jump now. There's a chance. She have a big touch to me. It's fine. Off the back wall. It's going to be hard for them to get a good shot. If anything on it. I have the high cover. Teammate has the low. 
Not much they can really do there. It's a good demo. I think that was worth it. Because it looked like he messed up. And honestly, he didn't get the touch he wanted probably, but... Should play a little bit more safer. Take my time here. Over a one, which is good. And I still have 30 boost. Take two pads and I'm working with a good 50 here. Which is more than all you need to challenge something. Should be a goal as well. Close. Just gonna wait for his flick here. And if not, we just win. So good first game. Let's get into the next one. See if we can keep it up. Get back to back dubs. See so yeah, how it goes. Well played from my squadron. Uh, we got ourselves Prussia, Immortal, and Goth. So I get this left side. Change my camera settings as you can tell. Back to what I, I've been using in my free time. Should be over. Nothing to worry about. Still full boost as well. Good touch. I'm just going to go for this. If I can beat him, it's actually really good. Should just be a goal. Off the back again. Oh, my bad. My gimmick's actual menace. He bumps both of them. Nice flick. Take a quick shot, why not? My gimmick's touch. Another good shot. I'm gonna play it left. Should be a goal. Close. Good demo. Smart the demo on the way back like you just did. Makes it really hard. To keep pressure for like a long period of time if you're just looking for a demo like that should be a shot try off the back wall again for gimmick i make it as hard as possible for the opponent like all these touches i'm just trying to make sure they're out of reach for them and they can't get a very easy uh, follow-up touch on them. Try to help out my teammate there because he seemed a little bit flat-footed. Just gonna wait. This is never really gonna be a goal. There's no kind of angle on the ball. Flick high right for gimmick. Good demo. Play cross. Oh, seven's locked, but got the universal open duo here. Me and Gimmick don't really lose two games very often. I have a lot of uh, a lot of faith in us here. Play over one. Good bump from Gimmick. Nice. Just waiting for the perfect moment to uh, let it go off my car there. <laughs> As soon as I saw he was looking to challenge, I dropped it off my car and went for a low 50 instead. I think it's the right play to make there. Try to challenge for gimmick here. Try to cover as many options as possible when you're challenging your air dribble. Don't challenge just one thing. Don't go as fast as possible to it. Make yourself as valuable to your team as, as you can when challenging something like that. That's the number one tip I, I can give you guys. Play it to gimmick. Nice. He's going to be ready for any kind of shot on net there, so I think the pass across, smarter play to make for sure. <laughs> Aqua calls me, Aqua is one of the upcoming prodigies of Rene, a little youngster. He's really good though. He loves to call me the flying squirrel because Thinks the way I play reminds him of Flying Squirrel. I'm just tumbling through the air. <laughs> Every time I used to play with him before he was a pro, I used to say that. I would go for some weird, like, unusual play and he'd call me a Flying Squirrel. Wait for his next touch. I'm gonna fake this, keep it close. Over 50. Much smarter than throwing that away, I think, there. Keeps possession in our hands and we can make a lot more out of it.
Uh, I'm asking makeup. I didn't realize you can go that quickly. I, I was just trying to play it over them. It's a good fight there. Well done. We still just linked up so well. I feel like I always know where he wants to be. Those situations, he always reads me very well. Very rare. Um, you know, you can have chemistry like that with a player. The highest level, it's actually very, very difficult. The game was really fast. Being able to read someone like that is actually very valuable. That's why it's so weird, like, playing against Gimmick. I feel like he knows what I want to do so well. Vice versa, I'm going to fake this. He may have a free touch now. I'm going to bait his touches out. I can go back. Not really of use staying up there. Make some pads. Yeah, a quick challenge. There we go. That was the right situation to challenge fast there. He's going to be flat footed. He's like low boost, just paying attention to me. He's going to. Also assume I'm not going to go because I'm third man, so he's assuming that if I go, I'm going to get beat. Bad for my team, he probably thinks I'm going to play a little bit safer, but that's the situation you want to catch your opponent off guard. Take a challenge you might not expect. Plus, try to give him an option to his right. Good fakes. Take my time on this. See if I can fake if I could fake him there and self-full control, that would have been a really dangerous situation for them to do it. I still pass back from gimmick. Can't actually beat him to this, but I can at least force him wide. Which is just as good, I'd say. Nice challenges. Jeez. Trying to like hit it back while for gimmick, maybe he can hit it back into me, but I messed up. I should just went for a double, but it probably just been a goal. Well, I'll play one more game, let's get into it, see if we can get some dubs. Let's see how it goes. After last game, we got Prussia, Immortal, and Goth already. Seems like the same people are always doing the party now. Threes. If it bounced down, unlucky bounce to be honest. Make sure you back for it. Still full boost. Find. I'm gonna go for a 50. Fine. You guys, never gonna score off of that. I have two people behind me. Worst case scenario, if it gets over me, so it gives my team the ball. So I don't really mind that situation. This might be bad. Seven. A little flat footed. Yeah, the shot's not the greatest, but not much I can do. Should have went for him there, I didn't realize he couldn't go. But I think he might have had no boost, he might land with zero. Play to our back corner. Could give me some time on the ball. There's pressure here, I don't have to like full commit on this, it's more just to stay close. Make him have to flip into me. Demo is just a added bonus. Now this guy going full speed, kind of just hurts their team. When anything. Huge challenge win. Hard for gimmick to shoot it. We actually got the goal. I don't know how. I actually want to see. I don't know how I won that, to be honest, but. Did he own goal? Oh, whoa. Tried to back flip over his net, I think. Like, try to get the ball over his net, but mistimed it by a bit. It is a difficult thing to get perfect, to be honest. Gonna wait here, he still has control. Very, very uh, unfortunate. Didn't really react to it. I'm gonna let him hit this. I'm gonna mess his teammate up. Wow, that is the last thing I thought someone would do. That's probably a goal for us. He didn't do that. It looks so bad, like it looks like he probably shouldn't do it from his perspective, I bet, but actually, the only way they're not getting scored on there. Him doing that because you're, you're like double committing with whoever's about to challenge that pretty much it's definitely not like the you know situation you want to be in but 
It's not a bad thing to do to go for a bump like that. These guys love the demo, it looks like. Yeah, this goes back to our teammate. Good thing about playing a deep third when going for like a pass play like that. Usually it doesn't work out terribly. Try, try to play up the wall here. Makes it a lot harder on them, and I can still win the next boost challenge, which is actually the most important thing there. We're not playing for an immediate goal, we're playing for pressure here. We gotta go off of it. Play to get good touches middle to each other, and not just necessarily straight up a goal there. I'm just gonna pop this for my teammate, should be behind me. Nice. Try to stay in play here. Give me because of 50. Let me go for the boost. Play under one. Challenge that. Go for one more here. Ooh, it would have been probably a goal if I got the skim touch I wanted. It was a difficult touch to make, but it was worth it for the outcome if it worked. That was the bump. Did a good job with that. Killed one, which is good. Probably can't bump this guy, but I could try. Don't have any boost. Kind of play it around them. Go for the mid boost now. Gonna stay on it. They can't shoot this and fake the bounce. Play off the back wall. Should be a goal. Try. Could pass right maybe. As soon as I see that he can, I'm just trying to back off early there. It's a good demo. They would pretty much have no attack now after that demo. Really good. Off the wall for a gimmick. Nice. A shot isn't a good idea for me there. I can go for a shot, but there's a guy waiting back wall just planted. Any kind of shot's going to be saved very easily by him. So I think the best play is to play it around him. I'm going to wait for a shot here. Again, I know his boost is low. That guy was a cheater. He probably has 30, 50 boost maybe. If he played it perfectly. Set off the back wall again for gimmick. A lot of my touches, most of the time I'm aiming to hit it around people. It's the best way to play out threes, I think. Creates a lot more opportunity when you're trying to hit it around people, trying to create space by making touches that the opponent can't reach. And even if you get beat here, a gimmick job isn't incredibly hard. He has a lot of time to react to what's going to happen because he's playing deeper. Played over one. I'm gonna grab the mid boost, but it's not a big deal. I can go all the way back for this. And, I, and now I'm the deep third. And I'm the person that if it gets past my team, I'll be here to recover the situation. And they can't really score off this. It has to be an absolute perfect hit on a pre flip to score that. So there's really no no danger in playing like a deep third and then like too aggressive on attack. And also lets you go for more of those uh, like demo y plays. Play off the ceiling. Close. Good job, though. Good game today. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have yourself a wonderful day or night. Whatever time it is, you're watching this. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys all in the next one. I love y'all. Peace.